So if you own a Tesla and you're experiencing limited to no airflow coming out of the vents, and that's any of the vents, there's several things you can check um, before taking it into a technician or to a dealership um, because the likelihood that it's going to be the HEPA filters is probably pretty high. Um, so what I would do is I would open up software and I would go into service mode. So you're just going to press and hold right here just for a few seconds, let go. And then you're going to get the keyboard here, type in service, enable. So it's going to go into service mode and you can check a few things here to see if there's any alerts. So service alerts and there's nothing. So there's nothing here um, to say that something is wrong. So what we can do is we can click here and then you're going to hold exit service mode. Okay, so now you're out of service mode. Now back here, several things we can check here. So by hitting the, uh, the fan speed, if the fan speed increases as you select uh, the higher numbers, then your resistor for the blower motor is gonna be fine. And obviously if you can hear the blower motor, then it's fine as well. But in this case, it sounds like a blockage. So when you select AC, so when you select AC, you can hear things cycle over. There you go. And it just sounds like I have no airflow anymore. And it sounds like there's a blockage. If you're experiencing this, then that's probably what's gonna be the case is an actual blockage. So we're gonna go check the filters right now. All right, so you're gonna come up into the front area here and you're gonna pop this lid up here. This just pops up really easy. I find it easier to grab right here and just start pulling up all the way around. And then that just comes off and you can set that aside. Next, you're gonna to wanna to remove the HEPA filter cover. As you can see, I've already been in here. There's going to be 10 screws. They are T20 Torx and they go all the way around and there's 10 total. There's going to be some in the front here as well. They're going to be a bit tricky to get to, but all you're going to do is you're just going to pry this forward to access them, but be careful in this corner. So don't pry this corner too much because there's, there's, it's a connect, it's connected here. If you want, you can pop this pin and disconnect it if that makes it easier for you. Okay, so we've got all the screws out. So now we're just gonna get underneath it here and just shimmy it up. It just takes a little bit of finesse here. There. So you can already see how bad they are. We live uh, in, a, in an area where there's a lot of heavy farming and we have a lot of poplar trees here too. So uh, you can see this is all that white fuzz that comes off those trees. Um, these just pop up really easily. And the next ones, I just grab the plastic cage, pop it out. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the car, set up the phone so you can hear the airflow with these in place versus when I remove one of them, you can hear the increase in the airflow. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, leave the phone in here, make sure everything's on full blast. I'm gonna go remove the air filter and let you listen to the, uh, the sound of the airflow increase when I remove the filter. Okay, so you can probably hear it now. Uh, there's a lot of airflow. This thing's really pushing air now. So let's go back out to the air filters and I'll show you how to get them changed out. Okay, so here's the filters I just removed to uh, show the, uh, the difference. Um, they're really easy. These ones just pop out. And then the next le level here, I just grab onto the plastic cage and I pry it up and out. And then to get these installed, just reverse order. You're just gonna place these here. I find it easier to start the uh, the rubber gasket even all the way around the top, and then just, just push down in small increments all the way around, making sure that the rubber gasket doesn't roll up on you. And then that's that. And then the aftermarket ones uh, sometimes don't have an arrow on them to show which side is up, but it's gonna be the white band. So this white band here goes on the top, no white band on the bottom. And then you're just gonna get them, put them in place. And then same thing with over here, the next ones, 
rubber gasket even at the top all the way around and then just push down in slow increments as you go. Making sure that the rubber gasket doesn't roll over and then same thing, your new one, of course, not your old one, put in place and then reverse order to install the cover with the 10 screws and then the, uh, the, uh, the cover here that just snaps back in place.